Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. We're out here on a farm again and this time I've got my neighbor here with me. He's an Avid center fire hunter and he's never shot air guns before. So in this video we're going to take two guns, the Wildcat BT and the Crown GRS and we're going to show him the ropes and see if he likes it. So sit back and enjoy. So as usual, it is very important to get the gun ready, get it zero, check your speed. It is quite cold this morning, so it's important to check your speed. Usually your, your gun speed uh, drops a little with the cold weather. So we're just going to verify everything. We've got the FX True Ballistic Chronograph to do that quickly. Um, yeah, got a box out there, 20 meters. Let's do this. It's very important, especially at short distance, to get the distance absolutely spot on because any small mistake you make here is going to exponentially get worse as you go out further. 59. Okay, because it's so cold, I kind of have to bring the regulator a little bit up. This one maybe, yeah. So if you check on this side, that your regulator gauge there, we're just going to open it just a half a turn or a quarter turn to do it. Let's see what it does now. My 90 on the dot. I know my guns. <laughs> With that done, we gathered everything we needed for the hunt and headed out. Right, so we've done everything. Gun is ready and now we're on our way. On the lookout for some pigeons, doves, starlings and sparrows. Ooh. Nice loud pop, 38 meters and down he goes. First up was this dove and a 21 grain javelin takes care of him. Okay, this is a good time to introduce you. We've got Rudolf here, who is my neighbor. <laughs> So he's going to shoot with us today. It's his first time shooting with the air guns, so good experience. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. We found a pigeon for Rudolf just around the corner at quite a steep angle, and I helped him set up for the shot. This was not the easiest shot to start with, but he quickly gets comfortable behind the gun. This is a very steep angle, so we're not really going to dial anything for distance, but it's about 25 meters. And that is a solid impact. Yeah. First pigeon. Awkward <laughs> position. <laughs> <laughs> Got it done. Yeah, first pigeon. Rudolf hits him straight through the middle. And just look at that. You can actually see the flattened slug falling straight down, proving the excellent expansion of the javelin slug. We then found a dove in the tree on the other side of the farmyard, and I decided to go for him. Oh, all right. There's quite a breeze up there as well. And down he goes. <laughs> that was 74 meters. I hold for the breeze coming from the right and make a perfect connection to the neck. And he goes straight down. I then turn my attention to a sparrow on a fence about 100 meters to the right. Ooh, got some feathers on him. Very, very close. Uh, yeah, took off a few feathers there. Well, you can't get them all. <laughs> We're still feeling out the breeze that's in the air here to see what it's doing. Uh, but I'm pretty happy as long as I got something of him. Cool. <laughs> I held dead on, but the wind pushed this one slightly to the left and off goes a few feathers. Lucky bird. Maggie was up next and she had her eye on a sparrow. It was a loud pop, <laughs> 49 meters. Maggie sends the slug straight through the middle and it ends in a massive explosion. It is an absolute beautiful day out today, so we're just walking around, scouting through, see what we can find. And so far we've been pretty successful, having lots of fun. And uh, Rudolf also just mentioned coming from a firearm world is how nice it is to have zero recoil and not to worry about firing off shots because it is cheap. It's not as expensive as shooting firearms. So you can come out and do this all day long and not spend a lot of money. Obviously, the, to get into the sport, it's a little bit expensive, but once you have the gear and the equipment, you're all sorted. So the Falcon just came in. He's on the tree over there, and he's got something 
that he's caught. So I'm just going to take the scope cam quickly and see what it is. 41 meters, so I just want to get the parallax correct for you guys. Put the scope cam on. Oh, it's a mouse or something that he's got there. How cool is that? So he's going to have a nice breakfast this morning. How awesome is that? Pretty cool. While the falcon was having his meal, we decided to move on to our next target. Oh. Put him down, 64 meters. This one was straight downwind. I hold dead on and make a perfect connection. I then get an opportunity on another one just around the corner. 49 meters and down. Another dead on impact and down he goes. Right, so we're getting things done. Got a few down already. And it's important just keep on the move on this farm because as soon as you hit something, especially with these 21 grain javelins, the impact is so loud that everything flies off. But they don't go far, they just go around the corner and sit there again or whatever. So we just follow them around and take them down. Yes. That one just fell dead on at 32 meters. Maggie also holds dead on and connects with this one straight through the middle. And so Maggie found a few pigeons on the roof over there. Okay, that one was at 35 meters. That looked like a headshot. Maggie hold to the left, but there was actually no wind and she barely gets him through the neck. But then we spotted a farm cat going straight in to finish him off. While the cat was having his lunch, we decided to take a break ourselves and head back to the truck. But on arrival, I noticed a few sparrows and it was time for action again. Shoot over my truck here. And down it goes, 47 meters. <laughs> okay, so we had a good run with the Wildcat now, but I want to show Rudolf the Crown GRS as well, because that's more a traditional rifle that he is used to. So we're going to swap guns quickly. All right, so this is the Crown GRS. Used this gun in the previous video, so if you want to check out what the setup is, go, look, go check that video. We're going to shoot the JTS pellets. And yeah. Very, very nice gun. I handed the Crown GRS to Rudolf, who immediately felt more comfortable with the traditional rifle, and he wasted no time and went straight for the first target. Okay. They are at 45 meters. I'm gonna go 45 over there, 45 on the parallax. The camera on, and off you go. Ooh, nice solid impact. 45 meters and dead. <laughs> nice. Yo, yo, this is much more my ballpark that I'm used to. Very nice. Rudolf holds it steady and sent one straight through the spine, paralyzing the dove as he goes down. Maggie then noticed a few sparrows in a nearby tree and got into position. Yay! Nice one at 60 meters. She holds it steady and the JTS pellet connect in another dead center shot. Then it was Rudolf's turn again and he found a few pigeons. Yeah, you got him. He's dead. He sends this one straight through the back, through the vitals and down he goes on the other side of the roof. He then immediately sets his sights on the next one. Oh, nice shot. Nice. That was 56 meters. Another beautiful spine shot by Rudolf and he hops as it goes down. Okay. If you go look at the anatomy of a pigeon, all the vitals are on the back. Front is just breast muscles. So if you shoot here in the front, you're probably just going to injure him, especially with a pellet. Mm. But if you shoot 
right on top of the breast muscles over there. That's called the off switch. So what we call the off switch, so we'll just drop dead. And that's why I always uh, told you before as well, if yeah. you see a pigeon with his back towards you, go for that one because then you're shooting right into the vitals. Into the vitals. Yeah, because okay. that's where his lungs is, that's where his heart is. Okay. Everything sits on the back. Front is just pure muscle. Okay. The yeah. Breast. yeah. As always, we kept on moving and that is exactly what we did. Come back. And down he goes, 56 meters. The JTS pellet proves its accuracy again as it travels straight to the target. Then it was Rudolf's turn to get a sparrow and I quickly helped him with a scope cam and set up the gun. Ooh. Down he goes, 58 nice. meters. Yeah. Another dead center shot by Rudolf and he quickly moves on to the next one. So on he goes, 53 meters. You're getting the hang of it now. <laughs> getting the hang of it. Getting used to it. Yeah. Addictive. Very. very. <laughs> I have to explain a few things to my wife. <laughs> I'm buying one. <laughs> Rudolf was certainly getting the hang of it as he takes down another beautiful shot. And now it was time to move on again to see what we can find elsewhere. Down he goes, 52 meters. The JTS pellet travels beautifully through the air again and takes down the sparrow with ease. The day was getting to an end and we decided to start walking back to the truck while searching for one more target. When we got there we found one and handed the gun to Rudolf. So before we end this, Rudolf just spotted a dove in the tree. So he's got the honors to take him down. And down he goes, nice. right next to the falcon. He wasn't even moved because he knows we don't shoot him. Yeah. And he just saw what fell down there. So he's probably going to fetch him now. Have that for dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rudolf goes a little low on this shot and it goes exactly where he aimed, but at least it still goes down. Well, that is it for the day. We had loads of fun. I think you're addicted now. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> So we had loads of fun. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe and then we'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.